Hey, my athletic adults, I want to show you an exercise that you can add to a basic exercise to make it more challenging towards uh, certainly mobility, but definitely the stability side of that factor. So what I need you to do is take your band, okay, and I happen to have a longer, longer 80 inch band, but you can take two 40 inch bands, or you could do it with a shorter one. You're just gonna have to go fairly light because if you gain too much tension, this just gets too difficult. So <clears throat> what I want you to do, take your band and put it on your arm like you're pulling your jacket on, okay? Now all I want you to do is spin away from the band, okay? So band's attached on this, I'm gonna go away from it and it wraps around my body, okay? I need you to get it below your shoulder blade. Okay, don't let it get up. At times with these, you might have to grab onto the band with the same side hand, that's okay. So now, if I were to relax right now, my body would rotate like this because the band is pulling this back shoulder, my right shoulder open. So, now, am I getting work in my T-spine, 100%? Am I getting in my core, without a doubt? Tremendous amount. Do my hips, yep, my legs. But what's really being challenged is my foot position. If I were standing on ice right now, or on my slide board that I just did, I just did a nice slide board workout, I would spin, okay, because I don't have any friction, or really reduced friction. So, when we do these, we're working on stability from the ground up, okay? So all I'd like you to do is go through a couple of nice squats to the level that you can manage and feel, in this case right now, my left leg is being pulled so that it flattens out my arch, which we call pronation or internal rotation. My left leg is going the other way. It's pushing me to the outside part of my heel in what we would call supination, okay? External rotation of that lower body, or lower leg. So I'm gonna just, you know, pound out a couple squats here. Feel that rotation as I do them, okay? Then if I wanna be a little bit more challenging, my band is on my left side, so I'm going to put my right side in front so I have a little bit more control. Now I'm going to do some split squats, and the same thing is happening. It's really challenging on this front leg. Let me move this way a little bit. I just want to make sure that you could see how the band was, so that's why I was on kind of an angle. So I do my split squat, and it's rotating me pretty hard this way. Now when I go to the inside leg, this is when the challenge and the stability happen. I have to make sure I use my big toe a lot, okay? If I don't, I'm gonna internally rotate and I'm gonna fall into my garage door. So as I go down, everything is staying tight, but that big toe has to be in contact with the ground to be able to control this rotation. Now, if I wanna challenge myself more, I can start to go back to my squat, but leave the ground a little bit, so a slight jump. So it looks like this, we squat, Slight jump, and as soon as I hit the ground, I am stopping rotation, and then I can do the same thing with this split squat. I can go from here to here, and relax. Now, just that little bit, my core is working. I can feel it because the whole time I'm being forced like this, so I have to fly here, but notice when I do that, see my knees and my feet, so I'm pronating here and I'm supinating here. So I'm rolling in and I'm tipping up here. And then if I were to switch it, which you gotta make sure you switch it, you get it the other way. So the feet are sending all these great signals up to the rest of the body, which we athletic adults need. We need this input, this feedback all the time. That's what keeps us young, that's what keeps us safe, and that's what keeps us athletic. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow.